I wish it was a good morning, folks. It's the 4th of January, 2024, and already we got a school shooting going on. West Coast time is 7.23 in the morning. Iowa, Perry, Iowa has reported through the uh, Des Moines Register, not to mention the Associated Press, that there's been a campus shooting at a high school. <clears throat> Around 10 o'clock their time, they're going to be having the uh, press conference to let us know what's going on. And uh, we're back at it again, guys. I'm going through the AP website right now. They've got injuries. There's a lot of enormous uh, emergency response over there. They don't have enough information to provide just yet, but they're going to be holding a news conference about it. They don't even know any more information. But there's a lot of phone messages sent trying to get more information about it. And the emergency management agency out there for Dallas County in Iowa is will be giving more information, as I said before, a little bit later. Perry is the community that's being affected right now. Now we got CNN and the analysts out there trying to figure things out from what limited and scanty information they've got. Iowa had been and still is contention for votes. We got the Republicans out there trying to tramp all around the place, trying to get votes. And now they got a school shooting going on. This is like dealing with Roseman. This is like dealing with Roseman. And I said before, and I'll say it again, probably in my wind files, but I'll get this one labeled when I can. This is like dealing with a uh, massive shooting happening or just even about two or three people killed when it happens here in Roseman. We've had people coming in our town doing robberies and leaving town or people trying to escape through our town or trying to people hide in our town every time they do something stupid out in Nanilla Valley. They think we're the easiest place to hide and half the time they're right. We do have different places that they can hide out and... We got gangs from all over Antelope Valley making their mark in our territory. This, a school shooting, they are still trying to gather more information. There's been an injury reported by uh, Associated Press, but we still don't have the information, not until about half an hour from now. Connecticut, uh, Central Time. So in about 30 minutes. We'll know what the hell happened. And I'll probably put that on tape so I can send it out there. As for my thoughts and feelings about this damn thing, it never ends. They talk about gun control, but they don't care. They talk about Second Amendment rights, and they don't care who gets killed in the end or gets injured. It doesn't matter. They have to have their guns. They have to have their rights. They, they demand it. Because it's in the Constitution of the United States. It's part of America. And therefore, we need to keep feeding the bloody beast. We need to keep feeding the beast more innocent lives. Because we have weak-ass politicians that won't do their fucking job of protecting our country. Or our people. Our people in general. Nope. We want more guns. We want more guns on the street. We have to find those who are mentally incapacitated. And in order to do that, you have to break HIPAA laws. You have to break federal law. Talked about it before, and we'll keep talking about it again and again. Until we're blue in the face, and after that, we'll still gather oxygen somewhere else to keep talking about the damn thing. But you folks, you guys want to deal with this shit, so be my guest. There's a producer on CNN trying to talk. I'm missing this.
conference. Um, I, I'm just curious. I see the police sort of walking very calmly, which gives you the sense that things uh, are not hyped. It looks like that is um, you know, officers from all over the place. They are heavily, heavily armed. Can you give some sense of what you're seeing on police, what they have, and just the numbers that are out there? Because this, again, is a, is a small town. It looks like they pulled in everybody from all over the place. This is what we know. There has been a shooting at this high school in Perry, Iowa, on their first day back in class following the holiday break. And we should know, given the hour-long time difference, it seems likely that the shooting took place before even class even began, right? Whoever did the shooting went into the building or outside the building and, and opened fire as people were arriving. It happened pretty early. We also know, or are told by officials there, that the situation is now secure. And as Sarah pointed out, and as Chief Ramsey pointed out, that means one of two things. Number one, it means they have the shooter or shooters in custody or that shooter or shooters, they have been neutralized. So this no longer looks like an active situation, though very much still a crime scene. Uh, Aaron Pellish, our producer who's on the ground there, tell us it seems controlled um, and there is no medical personnel that he sees in view. However, and this is important, on his way there, Aaron did see ambulances traveling in the other direction. So, very, very possible that victim or victims are being transported to local hospitals now. That is the breaking news. Uh, Chief Charles Ramsey is is still with us now. Chief, I... I so you guys heard... <coughs> Excuse me. In about less than 20 some odd minutes, we're going to be listening to the uh, news conference, hopefully, to give us a little bit more information about the shooter. Excuse me one second. <coughs> Damn throat. If he's been neutralized, it means de he's dead or in custody. <coughs> Since the situation's secured and they just have law enforcement out there to do in the investigative work. There's going to be a hell of a lot of outrage again. And this is not going to be over. This is just starting for this year. And we are so in for it. We're never going to have a year that we're not going to have any uh, violence of any sort. Gun violence. A couple of days ago, it was reported that this one couple who was going to be selling an iPad to a kid with a parent, well, they went into a public area, which is the middle of a street, and they got hijacked by two kids. Almost beat the shit out of. And they took off with the iPad. They were supposed to pay the guy the money. They were there just to get the iPad. When the cops got him, arrested him, I guess the kids were protesting. They don't know what the hell he's talking about. But the problem is, these kids keep forgetting that there's cameras about. Even Teslas have cameras, apparently. 
and the wife of the guy who was getting his ass kicked who was going to be selling his iPod. Well, the wife was getting into the, being the victim here too. Getting beaten up by the kid. By one of them anyway. There's two of them. So these guys are in jail. Facing felony. It's not misdemeanor. It's felony. Assault and battery. They threatened with a gun. Attempted murder. They'll be spending some time in jail. And if they're underage, they'll be spending time in juvie. But after that, maybe special circumstances. Who knows? And also right around New Year's in Hollywood, one of the actors of uh, 90210, he gets beaten up by biker gang going through Hollywood Boulevard, those mini bikes. One of them happened to broke his, the actor's uh, mirror on his car. That's when the fight started. We got it on TMC, and they've been talking about it. Cops are still trying to investigate that one. See, it just doesn't end. It just doesn't end. It continues. It continues. <laughs>